I've been wanting to get this story out for all these years. Bob Ross Inc. has responded to the new Netflix doc about late painter and TV icon Bob Ross, saying it's a quote, inaccurate and heavily slanted portrayal of our company. The documentary titled Bob Ross, Happy Accidents, Betrayal and Greed centers heavily on Ross's relationship with Bob Ross Inc. co-creators Walt and Annette Kowalski. It also chronicles his death and the eventual legal battles that ensued around profits from his likeness between Ross's son Steve, who serves as a central character, and the Kowalskis. The doc ultimately suggests that Ross's longtime business partners strong-armed his heir, his late third wife, and half-brother out of profits and parts of his estate that controlled how his legacy was to be used. It also suggests an affair between Annette and Bob. The doc was produced by Melissa McCarthy and Ben Falcone. On the day of the film's release, Falcone told NPR, We've never intended to set out and create a hit piece. We like Bob Ross, and we still do. We were surprised to uncover some of the things we uncovered. But in a public statement posted to the Bob Ross Inc. website on Wednesday, the company claims that although the doc's portrayal of the painter's quote, inspiring positive outlook was accurate, the filmmakers failed to offer them a proper chance to respond to allegations made in the documentary. The statement began, Bob Ross Inc. takes strong issue with the inaccurate and heavily slanted portrayal of our company in the Netflix film Bob Ross Happy Accidents, Betrayal and Greed. It went on to say in part, while the producers of the Netflix film did contact Bob Ross Inc. twice in late August and October 2020, each request arrived replete with a confounding lack of transparency. Had the filmmakers communicated with openness in their correspondence, Bob Ross Inc. could have provided valuable information and context in an attempt to achieve a more balanced and informed film. The company also said, after seeing media reports about the film's summer release, Bob Ross Inc. attempted to reach out to the filmmakers in May 2021 to offer comment. They did not return calls or emails and finally responded through their attorney. We provided a comprehensive statement and the filmmakers chose not to use it. A statement featured at the end of the documentary acknowledges this correspondence took place after the movie had already been completed. It notes that the Kowalskis, quote, deny that their relationship with Bob Ross was ever fractured at any point, and also deny that an affair took place between Annette and Bob. For much more on this story, go to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.